What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment on this ultra rare Wreckfest Wall Ride Wednesday. Because what other choice do we have after this happened last Sunday? Ross Chastain has pretty much solidified himself as a legend in my eyes for this ultimate hail melon move that he practiced on NASCAR 05 on the GameCube for crying out loud. So I see no other option for this video than for us to try to emulate the wall ride that he did in Wreckfest to collect us some dubs. And we have the perfect car to do it in. We're gonna do three different tracks today, three for Dale, one win each for the Melon Man. And we are gonna start here at Hilltop Stadium where it shouldn't be too hard to rip the wall uh, before we get going here this track has a little more banking than martinsville as we are underway but this is probably the perfect place for us to practice our wall riding skills and then we'll get to some tracks that vary in banking and one that looks pretty much exactly like martinsville but look at this it works ross chastain is a genius until this happens and corey lejoy parks it on your hood and then they flip all around him behind me and then turn me andy lally thank you for that now i'm a roadblock I did not expect it to start like this. I thought we'd be all right on the high side. What is wrong with me? I should have seen that coming from a mile away. And I guess I know now we'll be doing a lot more wrecking than wall riding today. Oh, we got him laid up against the fence. I can't even wall ride when you guys are laying all over the place. I can do barrel rolls though. Launch the 48 into a twister. Leave it to the Chick Hicks car to be wall riding as well too. That's something about that's a little bit too perfect. Shout out to Michael McDowell. Shout out to me squeezing through the hole. Okay, come on. I was admiring that I made it past LaJoy and then I didn't make it much further than that. I'm gonna make it past him again because they're all wrecking themselves. I'm gonna get a podium out of this, but that's not a dub. The Biv gets the dub, man. I long for the days that that was a regular occurrence, but we'll take our third place and we'll take a pretty scraped up side of the car back to the shop. So I think I exist in the universe where Ross Chastain's move would have ended in him hitting the catch fence or something, but fortunately it worked out for him. It does not work out so well for me on attempt number one. We did get smoked. 48 car, parks it right where I need to be. What am I supposed to do? We got a challenge here. I can't just go around him. I guess I'm going to have to start going around him if I must. I'm going to rip this high side of everybody. Gives me a lane, shock. They'll move. At least he pulled off. I respect that somewhat. Oh, even the wall's bullying me, though. It's shoot me off of it early. Come on, wall. We got to have a good relationship today. Oh, they are him wrecking heavy up here. Chastain did it, too. He took AJ out, and then I just finished him off removed him from the race. AJ, will be seeing you. That's how you get called up to cop and I'm getting killed. Be careful, Kodak. Walk out. Oh, that was Alex Bowman. We took out his car and the person. Good thing he's got to take it easier. He'd probably want to beat my ass. Don't worry. Some people are doing it for you. Buddy, oh, right in the face, another 48 car. You cannot make this stuff up right here. What is that? It's a Bowman retribution and Ross Chastain in the 24th taking me out. Don't you know what we're doing here, dude? Can you not see? This is setting up an entire corner of pain for me right now. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. Careful, Castle. Oh, Kodak, don't you do it. There's another Bowman blast. He's going to the Space Force. He could be in Ty's car from last week. What are we doing up here? The 48's having a shocking day today. It's all its drivers, and so is that 14 car. Now, and whoever this is going backwards, Landon Castle, what are you doing, bro? Come on. You're really doing that Chase Elliott car some shame here. So I'm getting lost in the barrel rolls back and forth. Can't get on the wheels. Cole Custer takes the win. We really are living in La La Land at this point. There goes the wheel. The wall ride challenge in Wreckfest might just naturally be on impossible difficulty because all of these buffoons just line up along the wall and sit there dead, waiting for you to come by and cream them. And then if you're lucky enough, your own car will come by eventually and slap you and then drive off like it didn't even do anything. Leaving you sitting in a pile of cars wondering how you got here in life. You guys go first if you want to, Ross. Car high, dude. Come on, how'd that work out for you? Ross went back to mid-season form, and I just used perfect form to flip the 46. Look at all these spots. Top five can turn real tragic real fast. Oh, come on, don't lay in there. That's not a good spot. Ross on Ross. Violence move 14 just in time. He does keep the Kodak car out of the way, too. We've already hit that guy enough. Oh, we gotta get Kligerman. We might be close enough to actually do this on the last lap. We just gotta keep it big. Keep the pedal to the floor. I don't know that it's necessarily working. We got one more shot to make it work. I'm gonna need something to happen here. We're doing it. It's working. Oh, yes! Parker gets clocked! I do some clocking as well! Keep your foot in it. We're almost there. There's cars everywhere. We're... Oh, we're just short of the line. Back it up, back it up. We have done it! <laughs> <laughs> that was not pretty at all. What is it supposed to be? Ross Chastain might be a genius. Don't look at me wagging one of his cars right there, but this is amazing. Who would've, I, didn't, I would've never thought this would've worked in real life. I mean, we've all done this a thousand times in the video game. 
the fact that somebody actually had the watermelons to try it for real in such a pressure packed situation is commendable i would say i don't know if that would have worked last year i think this new car definitely saved and that last one would have just folded in on itself i feel kind of like how my hopes almost did at the line here well we got the dub and on to the next i wanted to try a even higher banked one before we get to our little martinsville clone and what better place to come than bristol where we'll probably get blasted before we can even wall ride let's see if that sticky wall comes into play because i do recall that but hopefully it won't be too much for a problem we might just have to take it easy if we even get the chance to before getting in the big one. Oh, saw that coming. You could have set a watch to that crash. Come on, Kaz. Try it with me, man. Help me flatten this wall out a little bit. It's a little too bumpy. This is not this is not even remotely a successful strategy at Bristol, I don't think. I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news to myself. But what does it matter when you can't even make it through the straightaway anyway? Because it's a junkyard. Justin Haley is one. I am going to finish second. This is substantially disappointing and I, I couldn't even really get a wall right going at all around this place so that's neat some would even call that grand second place sucks i'm just gonna hang out down here and watch the ai try the challenge out for a little while it doesn't seem to be going well especially on corner exit as they all just explode on the outside wall nice brad's busted on the wall ruining everybody get off the wall please i'm begging you <laughs> this really is on impossible difficulty what am i supposed to do about this this is harder than trying to win a race when Ty Gibbs sends you out of the state of Virginia on the last lap. This is not the play, though. It just slows you down so bad, and there goes the wheel. That's nice. I, and my hood. And my hopes and dreams. And my ability to steer also. So we're really losing a lot here. We're going to be in a box here pretty quick as I am being forced to wreck my own car to make it to the line, and I've lost the race, and I've, I've, I've lost all hope in humanity, to be honest with you. And if humanity was the wreckfest AI, I would really be in trouble, but I think we might be okay. My car certainly isn't. There, new rule. The wall ride, first lap, first corner, and last lap, last corner. And what does it matter? You're not going to make it to the last lap, last corner if we keep doing that. Don't mind me and my 18 health points. I'll just be back over here. 17. Last lap. It's hard to tell who's dead or just playing possum and ready to back into me at the last minute. I got to bust some guys up out of the way so I can get along the wall. Truex, please, if you wouldn't impede my progress i actually I, I might be finished off here we lost the wheel i'm almost certain well that goes ahead and makes my job a lot easier thanks for that i would like to pay a little tribute to this commendably stupid start we had for the two runs me over the nine runs me over and then the 88 and the whole rest of the field runs me over so thank you everybody for that i know what to get you all in return for christmas it's coming up straight a little spacing or or just get run over by kaz Grala. that's always an oh my we got fedex cars flipping over my roof what a wonderful start once again oh we're about to drop the bombs on brad sorry dude get out of the road and we're dumping denny we couldn't be in a better car to be doing that that's perfect Tyler Reddick takes a dub. Shout out to him getting ass packed out of the race the other day, and my wheel is just gone. I don't know what's a worse fate. And then to have someone kick it down the road and have it probably finish further than I'll go is a real heartbreaker right there. Hey, hey look out! Austin Hill. Hit me so hard, it looked like his punchy through one pit road this weekend. Did you guys see that? That thing was straight out of an anime. Really getting dog walked by these starts at Bristol now. I didn't expect it to go well i guess but i didn't expect it to go this bad either so noted on bristol had he tried that in a gen 6 this is about what i expect would have happened this next gen is just built different literally it is just built different but so are watermelon farmers so who knows maybe his car would have just taken it like a champ and went on its merry way either way you know who's not gonna do that me after austin hill hits me like this right in the door probably causing some very significant injury. I don't think I'll ever be the same. Easy, 46 up in the wall, taking a bunch of people with them. Landing Castle, two tapped right out of the race. And we just drive by on the inside. Oh, and so what am I supposed to do about that? I mean, the brakes are always an option, but are they really? That's the bozo's way out of trouble. We, I mean, we're just gonna drive by everybody with the greatest of ease. All right, well, I have to wall ride. That's how we got to finish this off. Kaz, you might want to move. He does just in time. I'm taking this a little bit easy because I don't want every piece of my car to come flying off. And it's, I'm stuck. What is with almost throwing these things away? Get going. Ricky Stenhouse is right there. Get across the line. 
it is in my blood to almost throw these things away every time but it doesn't matter we did it well race one was good for us i'd say hilltop you could definitely rip the wall bristol that's gonna be a hard no this place on the other hand is about as close as we're probably gonna get to martinsville so let's see if our moose melon mobile can get it done no no you know i owe you one you gotta give me one back here i'm getting up on this high side real quick we're ripping this wall whether it likes it or not there are some openings in it there's a couple of gaps around this one so this might be a little interesting and uh including up here where there's literally a couple of tires hanging out and i we're gonna have to go around those somehow i don't know how we're gonna get stopped in time but we'll figure that one out hopefully we can figure out how not to flip right here and there there's no way but if we land on the wheels, there is a way to win somewhere. Let's get it. We got to find 10 seconds in this wall somewhere. It's not in there. I didn't find it. I found a way to rip my wheel off, though. Oh, magnificent. There we go. And another recurring theme. Me running into the 14 car for the 10th time today. And this race is over. They're boxing me in. They won't even let me get to the wall. Can we please? That's they're going to make me ride the inside wall somehow. They're going to they're gonna carry me all the way to the finish line. This keeps up. Can we please let me down? So I can spin this back around and we do with a pinball move off the 48 our old friend and Parker's putting my car over we gotta will this car to stop and get around the tire barrier that's tough to do that wall is a little too inviting and of course that's the one that spits you out to the finish line too so that's gonna make my whole life harder we gotta earn this one and <laughs> we're gonna earn an exit from the track we almost went through the crack there that would have been not a good place to get caught up in and just wrenched around and I'm not even gonna get a chance to get away from this the sticky wall is reaching out and grabbing me by force and the 48 has forced me out of the race for the 15th freaking time. I'm getting forced below. All right, well, we're going to have to survive another run on the inside. It's not looking good. We got tire checks. We got BJ McLeod getting carried like a king, and he's not the only one. Oh, if we could get right through the middle of this, we might be the king, but it's not looking pretty. Sorry, we had to sacrifice Parker Clickerman and my car. Come on, don't you do it, Josh Williams. Why? Well, oh, and he disappeared. Halloween act. I think he hit a spectator in the face. That's an automatic reset every time. And I just hit the dashboard with my face after that one. We came to a dead stop. And more Ross one-on-one -on -one violence here. Garrett Smithley. <laughs> Garrett Smithley, what are we doing here, bud? We're setting ourselves up for failure. I'm freaking toast over here. This is sickening. No, oh, I see an opening. Let's go for it. Sorry. Sorry, we got to sacrifice some people. Take that, Garrett Smithley. How you like that? You want to run into me? We'll take you right back. We're going to run everybody into the wall. Oh, my head. Oh, my chick hicks with the pile driver. Jesus, dude. I already got assaulted by Austin Hill once today. I don't need to be hit anymore. Nice and smooth. Sneak around. Oh, there's nowhere to go around this. We might go under this. How you like that, Dennis? You having a good time up there? Hold on. We'll back this thing up. We'll try that. Oh, my, no, we won't. There goes my trunk. We are lining ourselves up here, backing up, but no, we don't even need to, actually. My wheel's gone, my trunk's gone, my wheel lives, dust in the wind. We gotta do something different on the start of this one, like dump Haley right off the bat. Maybe that's, we'll start taking lessons from Ty Gibbs and just wrecking people and being an absolute menace. Like taking out the other one car out here, that's how you get a start done. Wait, did, is Ty Gibbs onto something? Is being an absolute rat the way to live? Cause it sure seems like we're wall right. We're getting the number one spot from Cody Ware. That's a lap lead. Now we gotta ride around here and get by the Biff and all the other bums like him that wanna hide up on the wall. Come on, everybody. This is our best run yet. I got hit by a Monster 54 car. I don't even wanna think about who could possibly be driving that because I know who usually does. It's supposed to be a Kyle Busch car, but not in my mind it isn't. There goes my car, deleted. Cindric removed. Stenhouse barking up the wrong tree, buddy. Now is not the time. I'm trying to wall right here. Get out of the way. What are we doing? Please stop it. One more wall to go. Don't you even dare. The 48 had to get one last one. If we missed the tires, though, we cannot. Come on. Come on. We got 14 seconds to burn back to Mr. McLeod. We cannot be doing this. Just fling it across the line into the 11. What a perfect finish. And it was Christopher Bell driving it. You cannot script this stuff. Well, folks, I think we have a new meta on our hands. We are in the wall ride era. Motorsports may forever be changed by what happened last Sunday. That is gonna creep into the mind of every desperate driver from now until the end of time. It's surely gonna pop into mind. It already was popping into mind. We've had to wall ride to win races in Wreckfest before. You guys know it, I know it. Ross Chastain knows it, now the whole world knows it. Wall riding equals wins. Who would have thunk it in real life? Watermelon Farms. That's what I would have thought. 
And that's what I love. So as we ride the wall one last time, barely escaped the grips of the 48 who had to get one last one in there on us and then the terrible tires sneak out and bite us one last time. But they will never stop us because we get across that line, we assault the 11 and we move right on with our victory donuts. That is going to do it, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully it was impactful on you like Ross Chastain was on the wall. You know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe for more. I love you all. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.